Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and today I wanna to go over Bermuda grass. Let's get right into the video. Now, Bermuda grass is a pain for many, many different reasons, but here in Florida, people call it wild or common Bermuda, but Bermuda is what naturally grows here. Now, St. Augustine grass is not a natural grass anywhere in the world, and I have a video above that'll explain that, but torpedo and wild Bermuda is what naturally grows here. So a lot of the time what happens is when you have a nice St. Augustine lawn, and the spots happen to thin out, get bare, or the lawn's just not properly maintained, Bermuda grass can jump into the area and start to grow. Now, a lot of people think, oh, well, why is this such a big deal? Weeds and things like this pop into lawns all the time. Well, this is such a big, big issue because there's no selective herbicide on the market that can kill Bermuda out of St. Augustine. So there's no products anywhere that will actively kill Bermuda and not hurt your St. Augustine. Of course, you can do it the opposite way, but you can never kill Bermuda out of St. Augustine grass. Now, let me show you what Bermuda looks like. Now this is a St. Augustine lawn. It was really thatching and got hit bad by the winter. I made another video, I'll link up here about that. But as we walk across this lawn, we go St. Augustine, St. Augustine, and then all of a sudden, the turf looks a lot different through here. So what we can see is this common or wild Bermuda has creeped in. So let me show you a really close difference of just the leaf blade. This is me pulling up a St. Augustine leaf blade. This is what St. Augustine grass looks like. This is what Bermuda grass looks like. And it's actually a lot finer and softer of a grass. But now, as you can see through here, you can see all the Bermuda over this entire lawn. As you can see, some sections are almost all Bermuda. So as we scroll here, St. Augustine, mix, 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 Bermuda, Bermuda, Bermuda. So now, some of the big downsides is Bermuda does go fully dormant, so it will go totally brown in the winter. But Bermuda is extremely aggressive. And now what happens is, and, and what's happened in this lawn, is this lawn was really thatchy, so it gets beat up really, really bad by the winter. This was winter damage in a thatchy lawn. So now what's gonna happen is this Bermuda grass grows by seeds and runners, which is why it's so aggressive. It's gonna start growing into this area. And as you can see, it already has. Look, the St. Augustine is brown and dead, and here's the Bermuda growing and filling in. So as you see, the sections become all Bermuda grass, and it's just gonna take advantage of these bare and thin areas and continue to take over, and there's no way to prevent it. The best defense against weeds is the thick turf, and especially an untreatable weed, there's nothing you can do besides have thick lawn. Now, I do wanna make it clear is that even the best Perfect lawns treated totally right. Every lawn in Florida has Bermuda in it. You just have to search. The only reason it doesn't take over like this is because the lawn stays thick and healthy. Whenever it starts to thin out, that's when the Bermuda can thrive. Bermuda attacks in two ways, by seeds and by runners. Uh, one thing I do want to cover is through a lot of my research online, articles kept saying that if you get your St. Augustine thick enough and keep fertilizing, it will choke out Bermuda. That's not true. I have never seen that. Now, in theory, maybe it's supposed to, but from my experience in this field where I see hundreds of lawns and I've been doing this for about 10 years now, I have never seen St. Augustine choke out Bermuda once it gets in and gets invasive. Okay, and like I said, you'll always have a little bit of Bermuda, but once it gets in like this, he cannot recover this. No matter how much he tries to bring back this St. Augustine, this Bermuda is just gonna keep thriving. And, and that's what leads me to the only option of repair. And unfortunately, that's to resod. And st still it then, the Bermuda's probably gonna poke through. Now this is very aggressive because this whole section here is all Bermuda grass. But if it's smaller in your lawn, killing that area and resodding immediately can make a big difference. But once it gets large scale like this and covers most of the lawn, it's gonna be almost impossible to get rid of. And it's really unfortunate. But there's some more sections of, uh, of where the winter damage killed some of the grass because it was really thatchy in here. As you can see, look at all these, these piles of dead runners and even some alive. But as you can see, the Bermuda is taking advantage and it's creeping its way over and it gets in these these spots like this, look. 
there's a whole bundle of Bermuda I pulled out in this bare area. Now Bermuda okay. grass is something common. If you have it in your yard, don't freak out or panic. Either replace that small area, but the, literally the best thing you can do is keep the rest of your lawn thick and healthy. Avoid thatch, avoid thinning. Avoid any reason to give this grass to take over because it will. Once it gets into big sections of your lawn, it's almost impossible to get rid of and is extremely problematic here. I hope everyone found this video useful. I appreciate all the support. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day.